Okay, people, so now it's October 31st, 2019. This is the chore for the day. I'm going to level that out, and I've got this uh, correlated plastic that I'm going to lay down, you're going to see. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going, I'm going to try and cover this up before the rains come. This was the old box spring from the uh, bed that I had in the bedroom there for Andre. But because I bought a bunk bed, I don't need the box spring anymore. So Tish and I, we took off the covering. Obviously, I saved the fabric. And then this box spring is going to go into the uh, hen house, a.k.a. seedling room slash <laughs> play, playhouse craft room for Andre, right, with his walnut art. And then I got, uh, so that's, we'll do this first and then see how much time I have left and maybe try and get that in there. But before I do that, I have some wood here that I got to lay down on the floor. So, again, intensive labor. Hold on. So anyway, I've been racking my brains, racking my brains. What can I put on top of that uh, shed that I built? Right, because anything I put tarp or whatever, the rains come, mm, destroys the tarp. All right, I tried uh, what is that called? Tar, uh, tar paper, you know, and uh, it's it's fairly dry inside, but you know, it's it's a leaky shed. But some shed is better than no shed. So anyway, you can see what I've got here. These are windows behind there. <sighs> My landlady said, why don't you bring this stuff home? Look at that. That's enough to cover cover my my uh, my shed, people. Totally slipped my mind. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to put that on top. And then I'm probably going to cover it with a tarp. Whatever I can find, right? Hold on. Okay. So the first thing you do is you wash your material. people right now. I'm like a monkey, people. <laughs> I'm always climbing, climbing, bending, stretching, like Uncle John would say. I'm doing gymnastics all the time. Right now, I'm on top of my little roof here. I have had so many different types of covering on this roof because I've never really had money, right, to do it right the first time, people. Right? I'm having to do it over and over and over again. So anyway, correlated plastic 
is actually pretty good in terms of weather resistant. Just remember that. So if you ever come across it, and you, you know, you have a yard or something like that, maybe I should just get rid of this thing, eh? Take the path of least resistance. And then, of course, brush everything down before you lay down that cord of plastic. I am just going to take my handy staple gun, see if I can staple it on. Oh, just to get it on for now, because I, I have to find another cover, technically, just to go over it, and then I have to kind of do something over here. But, you know, again, a leaky boat is better than no boat. When I first moved in, there was no shed here, right? At least I got a shed, people. That, I, that's what I saw myself, right? So, I'm, I'm, you know, trying to hang in there. All right? This is like, sometimes I don't even, I was doing dishes last night, people. Tisha was ragging on me. There's still dishes in the sink. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's because the last time you were here, there was dishes in the sink because I was outside working because you had Amari so I chose to work outside versus doing dishes so when you brought back Amari I, of course the dishes were in the sink right and then you know I ended up doing the dishes and because you know she was taking a little break and I was looking after Amari right? you know dishes started to pile up right Brought Amari outside doing whatever, right? And then she showed up again. And so there was a few dishes in the sink, right? A few dishes in the sink. And uh, so I worked outside, dishes piling up, right? You know, so she leaves, whatever. She comes back the next day, right? In the morning, you know, and she's going now to go to sleep. And there's more dishes in the sink. But I'm outside working, people, because she's watching Amari for me. So the dishes are piling up. So yesterday when this big fight blew up over the freaking pile of leaves, it turned on to, next thing you know, I'm being attacked for having dishes in my sink, even though I've been outside for the last week working outside. So I was washing dishes at freaking midnight last night, people. And that was after I moved those eight buckets of dirt. <laughs> right? And you can see right now, I'm on my all fours, right? <laughs> Stretching and bending and moving and, you know, I might as well start doing some break dancing up here, right? For, for the moves that I'm going through right now. I just want you to see what I go through, man. So, wouldn't you consider that stuff to be godsend right about this moment in time? Hmm? I would think so, people. Okay, so now that I cleared that off up there, right? I washed all that, you can see. This was the floor from my kitchen. So I'm going to take this wood, I'm going to drag it into the uh, hen house, a.k.a. seedling room, and try and lay it down and get this in there. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna make like little shelving. You just run uh, four by sixes or something through this, right? And you'll make shelving and then I can have my little seedlings or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out, hold on. Okay, so just remember now, I haven't had a lot of time to get up in here and do anything, people. But I did lay down this and before I do any, like, I'm going to, oh, spider webs, <laughs> always walking into spider webs, right? Before I, uh, put, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that mat, that box spring, I'm going to put that box spring either along this wall or I don't know if I'm going to do that today. See, here's, here's windows, right? You know, to make another greenhouse or add on to the greenhouse or whatever, but anyway. I may put it along this wall. Jerry was in here and he reinforced everything. So everything is really solid, people. 
like really solid. This is a really solid little cubby hole in here. It's really nice. So anyway, I am going to pull out this stuff, pull up this carpeting, and then I'm going to lay that wood that was like in the kitchen, right on the floor. And uh, then I'm just going to throw down the, pl the the carpet back on, right? And then this this way, it will give this room a little more, uh, the, the floor will be more structured, right? You can see this was a pallet, so this is solid. This one's nice and solid. And then what I don't use, I'll just, you know, put it someplace, maybe in here where it doesn't get wet. And then when I have time, I can do the same thing in there, right? But for now, I can get one, maybe two in here. At least two. I can get two sheets in here. So that's what I'm going to work on, right? Because winter is coming and, you know, Andre is looking really forward to being in this room. Yeah, everything in my life is a room. We made this together when we had the chickens. It was supposed to be a hen house, but he kind of wants it a little bit like a playhouse. So, before we leave this house, I'd like to be able to give him that opportunity. So, hold on. Okay, so if you're wondering what's underneath here, just keep in mind, people, this whole area was nothing but morning glory. And this is where that little ghost, that little uh, Project Blue Bean thing, uh, this is the corner. I'll add the link to that video into the description box. But that never deterred me from using this corner. So anyway, it's, it's, this is another leaky boat. <laughs> As you can see, it's wet. <clears throat> so maybe when I get some time before the rains really hit, I can take some plastic because I have I have big roll of plastic, and I'll just run plastic, staple it through, fix up this hole in here. Now I think it's leaking from up in here, and it's backdrafting, right? Obviously, big gaping hole, right? So anyway, I'll see if I can just kind of like do something here. But for now. So what I'm doing is, I'm leaving this, right, it's just, you know, it's just a seedling room, really. You know, it's not chickens were going to live here, right? <laughs> so, anyway, and I'll lay that back down. I'm going to move this stuff out, and I'm just going to take some boards. I decided just to put them on top, right? Or I'll, 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 I'll put the board down in here, and I'll cover it up with the carpet, and then one of these boards, they have vinyl on it, right? Hold on a minute. Okay, this is too good to be true, people. Like, do you see how well that fit in there? It's like almost flush. You couldn't ask for anything better in terms of, it didn't cost me anything, people. And it's much better than what I had underneath. I can already feel it, right? Like, serious, I just have to make it so it's not so leaky in here. <laughs> okay, so before I, get too far into this video here this is pretty much what I'm going to just be doing for the next couple of hours before you know I take the kids trick-or-treating right and uh, what do you call it I just want to see that somebody has offered to help me right to start analyzing this information that I've been putting out there regarding Shemay now keep in mind this person is coming in fresh Fresh, 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 right? With no bias opinions, no emotional baggage, you know, has critical thinking skills. We don't know what kind of technology this person has in terms of programs for computers and that kind of thing, right? And, uh, you know, is, is uh, concerned about the community, people, because it, that's pretty much what it boils down to. You know, when it comes to stuff like this, right? So I just want to say that. I just want people to know that somebody has offered to start analyzing the information that, you know, is centered around Shimei and what happened to her and just the whole nine yards. And I give them my permission, right? My family say thank you because we can't do it by ourselves, people. Right? I can't even locate a lawyer. I've asked, like, since this has happened, four lawyer firms. The first two was when she first died. You know, I phoned them up. They refused me. 
wouldn't even have me come in for my half an hour consultation. And that was before I even knew what I know now. And then just recently, in the last month, right, I contacted four other, or two, two law firms, right? And you know, law firms have lots and lots of lawyers with them, and not one wants to help. So, okay, this is what I've done now. Like, I'm, I'm moving fast. Okay, you can see. So I moved that out, pretty much. And then I'm going to take another board, and I'm just going to lay it in there, even if it overlaps, that's fine. And then I'm going to drag in that, uh, what do you call that thing? That box spring. Hold on. Okay, so I think what's happening here is people that are carpenters, they have, like, numbers in their head, people. And, uh, because for that to fit perfect in terms of when they cut that floor out, right? Actually, I think it was my son who cut that out. <laughs> right? <laughs> so in his head, he already had the number so that when I started this, and Andre and I, we built this, uh, what do you call this? The hen house. The distance between the hen house and the wall is equal to what carpers, carpenters would use in terms of standard numbers because years and years later, wood is cut specifically for the distance of this. As well as, you know, I've had other people work in this room that are carpenters. Bill worked in here, right, and his crew, they put up the roof, right? Jerry's been in here a couple of times, plus he straightened out the roof and he secured the roof and the walls, right? But it's just amazing that this wood should be fitting in here the way it is. Like, I'm telling you people, like, this is amazing. Like, fuck. <coughs> I mean, you, you can't imagine what I'm, uh, thinking right now, right? But that was too easy. That was too easy, man. That's, that's what it's God sent. When it's easy like that, just like those plastic correlated things outside that I'm going to put on top of my shed, I drag those things home. My landlady, why don't you bring that stuff home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I don't have lots and lots and lots of money, people. But, you know, there you go. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Okay, there's a lip on this. I don't have time to cut it. I can always fit it in later. I'm not too worried about that. I can put another one underneath. Right? Look at that. Right? I can take something. I can take another board or two. Put them underneath that just so it's not so floppy. Right? It will just level it out. I mean, I mean, like, seriously, man. Can you see that? Okay. I don't know if I'm recording or not half the time here, at least right now anyway, but anyway, I can see now it's recording, so I hope I was <laughs> otherwise you would have missed it maybe I should just do a little recap here so anyway uh, right, I put some just some board underneath there just to level it out, you can see it's not moving now right so, fit perfect people right, now I know, I do it to myself, right, and it's like, you know, we don't know though, until we try it, right, I don't know, if I don't like it, I can get some wire cutters, where am I, I can get some wire cutters, I can get some wire cutters, I don't know what happened there, but anyway, I can get some wire cutters some point in the future and I can make this into whatever I want. The point is, it's a basic frame to something. It doesn't have to stay here. This is just a box spring, right? It doesn't have to stay here, but if I want, I can run wood. I don't have any on me right now, but you know, I can run wood right through here and make little shelves, right? And at some point, you know, I can run it 
over here. So this is kind of dark to be a little seedling room, but it depends on what you're doing, right? Hold on. Okay, so no worse for wear, right? Do you see? I can always move this, people, next spring onto this side after I clear out in here because obviously you got the glass with the right the chain link fence so it's a much more brighter but for now right you know it would cost money right this is easy to make a little a little you know seedling you have your little trays in here right you can take this and cover it with plastic and turn it into a little mini greenhouse right so I think the next thing I'm gonna try and do over the next week or so right before the rains hit and gets real cold is I'm just going to try and insulate this. I was already thinking about it yesterday when I was out in the back working with fertile myrtle and whatnot and just running some plastic over it, right? So, uh, now these boards here I've got one more. I'm just going to bring them and put them on the inside and they'll just sit for the winter, right? And then when I get on this side I can take those boards and lift up the carpet that's there and just lay them down and it will just give it a little more uh, what do you call that? structure right there's my warrior tree right. it's gonna bust out of its pot pretty soon so now I get back up on that after I move that wood hold on okay so now I'm back up on the roof here Ooh, gotta be careful. I don't like heights, especially with my dizzy eyes. That's better than what I had, people. Right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, for now, just staple it on. Hold on. Um. Oh god. Staple it on. Trim it. In my blade. Looks like I've already cut my finger. You can see that. I don't know when that happened. But anyway, and then with some of this leftover stuff, I'm thinking maybe I should just kind of like tack it on up in here, at least right in there, so that the water, when, when it hits, leaks, it'll hit this. And if I put it on an angle, it will just slide off and dribble over this way, and it won't be, you know, a river on my porch here and then what's gonna happen next year is my landlady is gonna change all the gutters because they're just too old right but that's not till next year so I just have to make do with what I have right now so let me get on with this hold on okay so this is going pretty fast <laughs> considering everything like I said you know He's been sitting in my yard for well over a year now, a year and a half maybe, this stuff. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut off, I think, well, this one's kind of got holes in it, but you can't have everything in life, right? So I could always maybe take a little bit of silicone or something and plug them up. Like, I do plan on covering this over, right? It's just, it's hard to find things that the rain doesn't eat, right? So, I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna have to run board. Oh my god, did you see that? It was a hornet, man flying around my hair. Oh, it's all I need to get stung in my ear yet. Bloody things. They've been around, man. We don't know where their nest is, though. 
So I'm going to end up having to get some, some wood at some point, right? And just run it up underneath these seams to the best of my ability so the water just runs off and not back drafts, right? I mean, technically we, we need a whole new porch, but that's okay. I'm just wondering if it's necessary to cut this. If I bring it down this way more, I can always run a board on it. I think I'm not going to cut it, right? Take the path of least resistance. So, it seems to be uh, working pretty good. Right. I'll show you. Like it's going fast. Fast, fast, fast. Look how fast it's going. Mm. Right, and do you see here? I'm going to have to take a board. I don't know. It's all rotten. Besides that point. And then what happened here is this post went right through. So my son put that there for me. But as you can see, the lip is now off, right? Because it's been pulled that way. So, I don't know. I can run a board through there and then silicone it and then... But it's not, it's not leaking in there that, you know, I'm having panic attacks more about than, uh, than I am about the whole roof itself. So, and then I'll just finish this little end right here. This one's kind of like cracked though. Oops, sorry. Wandering eye, hold on. Okay, so that, honest to God, didn't take no more than 10 minutes. <laughs> like I said, it's cost end. So, what I'll do is I'll... Look around the yard for some tarp or something, and I'll just cover it up. And then I'll take some boards, no, not today, and sometime this week, and I'll just do something in there. And a few spots, a little bit of silicone, and that will be good enough for winter. So, now I'm just going to clean that, and then I'm going to take those, and I'm going to see what I can do up here, people. Because if I can stop the leak for a little bit, right, and just have the water run off, you know, on an angle, that would be really, really helpful for me. So hold on. Okay, people, I'm on a different ladder now. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take out these hooks. I didn't see that. So something is worth trying here, right? Because it gets really bad when it rains out here. You've seen that. My landlady said she'll change this plastic, but I don't know. This stuff that they're making now, I have to get a, what do you call that? Um, some pliers. Try and screw that off. Uh, she said she's going to change the plastic, but this one here, the good old days, is really, really durable. But this stuff that they're selling now, you know, it's not even really worth buying, people. It doesn't hold up to the elements, it blows off in the wind, it rips easily, right, it cracks fast, so I don't know, unless she can find it, oh my god, there's a horn flying around my ear, oh. hold on, okay, not really too sure what I'm doing, but I've got this board here, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to try and get on here and then one more and then I'm just going to run that plastic over this staple it on and then because this is oh sorry lower when it rains the water should just go that way and over the edge that's what I'm hoping for hold on okay if you notice, people, I'm always up in the rafters with my wobbly self. Actually, if once I start banging, this camera might fall. Oh, that would be awful. Just some old wood around the yard. So, if I go over the edge, <laughs> we know what happened. <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't like doing stuff like this. But if I don't do it, people, it doesn't get done. Right. 
just have to take it. Oh, do you see how that's gymnastics? Can you see? <laughs> And yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I hope this doesn't fall on me. It shouldn't. <laughs> you have to take risks in life, people. Otherwise, you'll never get anything done if you don't. Right. And of course, this ladder now is going the wrong way. Oh my god. i to move this stuff again. coming. See? Break. I don't want to slip. I so want to put my foot here on this rail and just brace myself, right? But for sure then I'd fall. I don't know what's going on here. But I missed the mark over here, people. I don't know. I don't know what I've done. old rusty nails, right? Okay. And then this is when you start saying, Come on, bitch! Good. As long as we get the general idea. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm pretty strong for almost 60. Really. Despite everything, people. That's one thing I, I take into factor when I do this stuff. It, it keeps me fairly strong. Oh god, I can't see. I'm blind. I don't want those flush. And I keep missing the mark. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Alright. Now, assuming that I did this correctly, thinking is, uh, come on baby, now, I so hope this works, I'm not, I can't find my, uh, what do you call that, <clears throat> pliers to take off these hooks, screws, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to poke the, this, you know, corded, whatever it is, through, and then I'm going to take some silicone, and I'm going to put silicone on here, and then I'm going to screw it back in, and that should seal it for the winter. That's what I'm thinking, because I'm not going to be looking around for something I can't find. So we're just going to do one. All right. Hold on. I don't want to fall. So I want to do something stupid. Something stupid, right?
See, this isn't even mobile. This is pathetic. Hey, I want to take it over and do this corner over here. Because if it rains and gets all wet in here, I don't... It's, it's when people are walking back and forth that really disturbs me. You know, all this in here. Right. <coughs> okay. So, when in doubt, gray tape. <laughs> I found some silicone that's already in the thing here. Although, I don't know if it's still good, but I'm going to poke my skewer, sorry, uh, through it and see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the hole up here and I'm going to tape it. I'm going to first I'm going to silicone it, then I'm going to tape it, do whatever, and then I'm going to just take this little thin piece of whatever, right, and I'm going to put that up there, and then I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to do the same thing, right, and then this one over here, it's kind of cracked, but that's okay, I'm just still going to run it that way, and if you notice, that's on an angle, so when it rains, the water should just go like this and fall onto there. So hold on. Okay. And my little birdies. Where my little birdies? Keeping me company. Anyway, you can see I put this one up, people. I think this will be fine. I took some uh, silicone with some great tape and I just put it over the hole that was leaking on this one. And then what I did here, you can see, is falling on an angle, right? So when it leaks, technically the water should roll and it should just go off that way. Right? And then this one here, <coughs> I took gray tape and I put silicone in it, right? On both sides, because this one's cracked, right? So... I'm thinking to maybe bring this in for tonight, this one, and let it dry. And then tomorrow, or whenever, next couple of days, I'll just piece it in, in here. Because you can see I, I stapled it there, and, uh, but it leaks in here, right? So if I can just run this one here and kind of have the same idea where the water just kind of runs off, then, uh, that would be much better. Now, mind you, I'm not going to be able to get up in here because it's leaking in a little bit. When it's really heavy rains, right, it's leaking on the seams because, you know, it, that's in there. But that will be next year. And as for the X-Club, it's always leaked. So <laughs> I'm not too worried about the X-Club, although I may put um, some of this correlated plastic in that one corner where it's kind of like... In a bad spot so before I put this up there I'm just gonna see if that did the job for the winter which I do believe that it will because if any water leaks it's gonna come out through that hole first which is gonna bring it right down well it's pretty spot-on but I don't know we'll just have to wait and see so I think that's going to be pretty much it for today other than now I'm just going to clean up it's obviously getting colder I'll bring this in and let it get a good dry <coughs> I mean technically I'd like to put it up now but I'm not even going to I'm going to let it dry first and then I'm going to put it up so uh, I guess that will be it for now people I don't know if you can see my little hummingbird can you see it? Way. It's everywhere. I'm going to feed my little hummingbird here in a minute. It reminded me it was hungry. It's looking for food. Lots and lots of little birds in my yard. I want to make a better feeder though for the blue jay. He gets kind of like uh, put.
put out, right? Because these bird feeders are a little too small. But I just really haven't had any time, people. Oh, these little birds.